My name's Cameron. I'm studying history at York St John University and I've been doing some research on the cockerel livery badge shown here. Livery badges were used to demonstrate a certain allegiance to a house or lord or a higher level of king. They were generally the more expensive and rare the material, the higher you were, the wealthier you were. So, for instance, this one here was most likely worn by a wealthy landowner. Poorer peasants would, would have worn a knitted on badge instead. The use of livery badges and their misuse was often discussed in the, in the Commons during the reign of Richard II. The misuse here referring to the gangs or groups of individuals that would commit crimes or round people, beat them up um, in the name of that the certain lord that they have the affinity to represented by the livery badge. One particular petition asks that all liveries called badges were they given by the king or lords of which use has begun since the first year of King Edward III in 1327 and all lesser liveries such as hoods shall henceforth not be given or worn but shall be abolished upon the pain specified in this document. Indeed, among the emblems attributed to Richard II in the pedigree role of Edward IV, dated 1461, is Gallus, that is, a cockerel. This particular item was discovered at Towton, which was the location for one of the bloodiest battles of the War of the Roses. Roughly 28,000 men died. Though the exact faction of the War of the Roses that this livery badge belongs to sort of remains unclear, Margaret of Anjou herself, the Lancastrian Queen, was French. However, King Edward IV himself was born in Rouen in France, and so this brings some debate as to what faction this particular livery badge belongs to.